it now, name it down, and let those waters flow. Ooh, 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 ooh. So now I am not everything you thought that I would be. Okay, there we go. So that was a quick playthrough. I kind of jumped around. My main goal there was to show you each section of the song. And keep watching. I'm going to dive through uh, each section I played and show you how to play it. So uh, before we get started, a few quick notes. Uh, one, this is an acoustic version of the song I put together based on a lot of tabs I found online. I watched a few videos of the band playing it. I watched a few covers. Um, everything I found was slightly off what I wanted to capture in a solo version, so I kind of picked and I chose from each thing and put this together accordingly. So I'm not 100% sure this is how the band plays it, so uh, if that's what you're looking for, um, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, another quick note is this song is a bit tricky. If you're a beginner at guitar, I encourage you to have at it, but just know that it's using some very unconventional chord shapes and some chord voicings, and uh, it might be kind of might not fall into any buckets you have in your in your mind already. But um, definitely definitely give it a give it a try. And if you are a beginner and you're interested in a beginner version of this, let me know in the comments and maybe I can put something together. Um, and what else? Is there anything else? Nothing else. Let's dive into the lesson, okay? Okay, so I'm going to go through the song uh, just in order, and I'm going to show you each section as it comes. This song uses a lot of chords, and uh, I think it's better just to go through uh, each section one at a time, okay? So the first thing we have in this song is the intro. So this is four chords, and you're strumming these chords for one measure each, and then you just repeat the whole thing, so you're going to play it twice through. The four chords look like this, okay? Now these are not uh, chords you're used to seeing on guitar, at least in my experience, right? Um, and a couple things here. First thing is, note that each of these chords has just about three notes that you have fingers on, okay? So the first chord is you're doing, and, um, and you're always going to be on the third, fourth, and fifth string as far as the notes you're playing for the most part. So the first chord is the ninth, ninth, nine, 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 and it's all on, uh, that's the fifth, fourth, and third string respectively, so. Next chord is seven, six, nine. The third chord is seven, nine, eight. And the fourth chord is seven, uh, zero, seven, nine. So open seven, nine. Now, um, now even though you're only putting your finger on three strings for each of these chords, you're generally gonna strum all the strings. But uh, I would practice it first, get the chord shape down by only playing these three strings where your fingers are, so. Okay, so do that, get good at that, get comfortable with that. And you can, you can get comfortable by an Now, when you get those chord positions down, you can just strum all six strings together, and then you'll get this. Okay, that's the first chord. Second chord is. Third chord is. And for the fourth chord, I tend to do the bottom five strings only. Okay, and uh, when you sort of do those with a strumming pattern, so down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, you get this. And you'll notice on that last chord, what I did was I went from open seven nine to open seven eight. And I'm just putting my middle finger there, so. And uh, basically, again, it's down, down, up, down, up, 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 down. Okay. So there we go. Um, again, some weird shapes there, but uh, and uh, an approach I'm taking with this, this entire song is sort of leaving these top two strings open, letting them ring most of the time. It sort of it might sound weird when on any given chord, but when you have the whole song sort of having those droning notes, it adds a bit of quality to it. Okay, next up is the walk down, and by the walk down, I'm talking about this thing. Uh, 
Um, again, let's, let's cackle it the same way. First, let's look at the chord shapes you're gonna need. So basically, again, you're gonna be in the seventh, eighth, and ninth fret for the most part. That's sort of your box, okay? So first up, you're gonna have seven, nine, nine. Then you're gonna have nine, seven, nine. And these are all on the third, fourth, fifth string. So nine, seven, nine. Then you're gonna have uh, seven, six, nine. And then you're gonna go back to nine, seven, nine. Okay, so if you played just those chord shapes in order, it'd be like this. Now, without emphasizing the sort of walking down, that doesn't really have, it doesn't sound like the intro necessarily or the walk down necessarily. Right, it kind of sounds circular, right? You're going, you're coming back. But do this first, get comfortable with that first, and then practice the walk down by emphasizing just So what I'm doing there is I'm plucking the, the main walk down melody note. Then I'm doing a up, down, up on the top three or four strings. So, so. And a great way to practice this is actually go walk down and walk back up and then repeat it. So basically you have this. When you're comfortable doing that, going down once is, is a lot easier. So that's one way to practice it. Um, on the topic of the walk down though, there is actually a second way to play it down here in your open E position, okay? So do an open E chord and then basically do this. Okay, um, that's actually, it's a good thing to have in your pocket if you're, if you're down here and you want just that open sound. It's a bit different than this either way okay so that's another option and finally if you want a one finger option just to show you the versatility of things I never actually use this when I'm playing it but it's good it's good to show that you can play any one riff many different ways again I'm just using my ring finger and you just walk down according to those tabs so that's the, um, that's the walk down. So you do the intro strumming, then you do the walk down, then you get to the verse. Okay, now we have four new chord shapes here and they're gonna kind of stay weird here. These are all variations of E. You just have a bass note-ish that's kind of changing, okay? So the first chord, um, it's kind of similar to the walk down. It says seven, nine, nine. Second chord is the nine, seven, nine. Third chord gets weird, it's six, seven, nine. And this one sounds really weird when you play it like that, right? But that bass note is very distinct in the song. And then the fourth chord is you switch your middle and index fingers. So it's seven, six, nine. So what this sounds like is. Okay, and with the bass note that you emphasize before each drum, it's. Again, I'm just doing that up, down, up, down on the, the top three strings, so. Same deal as the intro, sort of. Same deal as the, the walk down, sort of. It's sort of kind of similar, but it's different enough. But it, it kind of definitely is a satisfying thing to play once you get it. So putting that in the context of the verse, it's, I can show. get to the chorus here and there's also a refrain and a bridge now the chorus the refrain and the bridge I'm using more conventional chords in the key of E so we have an open E chord we're gonna let's go right up the key of E we have an E we have F sharp however I'm gonna play it like this instead of four two two four 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 I'm gonna play just uh, open fourth fourth second open so 
create that same shape, move it up to the what would be a G sharp minor. So it's open six six four open open. And then uh, for A, I'll sometimes do this. I'll do open seven seven six open open. And then for the B, I'll do open nine nine eight open open. So again, on all these chords, note how the top two strings and the bottom string are left open, right? So then it's. Okay, now that order I just did is not the order you play these chords, but those are the chords you're gonna need. So basically you're gonna have the E. I'm driving now, F sharp minor, then the B. This isn't how I go. So that's E to the F sharp minor, to B, to A. Okay, you could, so. And then that isn't how I go, and you go to the walk down. Now there is the chorus when he sometimes goes to a C sharp minor. So hurry now, listen. I'm driving now, hurry now. So it's slightly different order of things there. You're going from a C sharp minor to an E, to a B, to an A. Um, but uh, it's the same sort of style, right? And then finally you have, let these waters flow. So I'm doing a B. This is seven, nine, nine, eight. Um, this one I sort of emphasize in that bass note, that seventh fret here. And then I did a C sharp minor. And then an A, which I'm playing here is open, second, second, open, open. And then to E. Okay, again, it's flow, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and then the bridge, it's C sharp minor to B, four, two, uh, so this is two, four, four, open, open, to A, open, second, second, open, open, to E minor, or to E major. So it's so nice. Sharp minor, whatever is story to E, I have told, and then to A is part of me, E, and then do a walk down. Don't do it that sloppy, but you get the idea. So, uh, those are that's all you'll need for this song. Again, it's kind of a lot, there's a lot of sections here, um, and there's some of those unique chords in the beginning and uh, some of the more conventional chords in the chorus and the bridge. Um, again, this is an opinionated way to play it I have here where I'm letting those top two strings ring. I just find that that, that lets you kind of muffle the sound in a really kind of cool droning way, which adds some, some character to the song. But uh, that's really it. Um, this I didn't find any lessons online that showed this approach, so I wanted to record this and make it. Um, honestly, this is not a lesson that probably a lot of people will watch. It's not a super, super well-known song, but I'm very grateful you watched this far. And uh, I forgot to mention, if you like what you saw, check out my website, songnotes.cc. The website has uh, text versions and notes of all the tabs I showed you here. So if you need to reference something later, check that out, and it'll have what you need. But otherwise, uh, have at this and I hope this helped um, and stay tuned for my other lessons. Again, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll uh, see you around. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.